Hey everybody, my name is Lowell and welcome to the channel. So we have a sponsored video today. Thank you very much, Christy, for this one. This is going to be Kent Rowlands again with um, Smoke Pig Shots. I have no idea what that is. Uh, the ultimate tailgate party food. So I'm here for this. Let's jump in and let's have a look at this one. Smoked pig shots. You see them everywhere you go. So why should you watch this video? Because folks, these are different. Three layers of goodness from the sausage to the cream cheese mixture, jalapeno, Ooh. more meat, Ooh. more cream cheese. Ooh, it don't get no better than that. Smoke cream cheese and jalapeno. Whoa, what, what are we making? Oh, snap. Pig shots. Ooh. Now a lot of you be thinking that might not even heard of this term. What is a pig shot? There goes a wild hog. Boom, boom. I missed him. It ain't that kind. Okay, no, so I can see why they're called before, shots. Okay. But that wasn't him. A pig shot is like a shot glass in yeah. a way. Figure of it being about that tall. Oh, filled. Is really what it's... I didn't know that. It is. We're going to all learn something today <laughs> out here in God's Education. creation. Education. It is a great day. It is. But, you know, in a shot glass, you get them, and they pour you a shot in there nearly to the top, and you go, and you think, oh, my gosh, that was good. Duker, Pat, no, Duker says it is hot. Duker, it's 80 something degrees. The Lord blessed us with cool weather, clouds and rain, he did. But a lot of pig shots you see, they just wrapped in bacon. Got a little meat on. Okay. No, 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 okay. we, we got to doctor this up cowboy style so it's gonna be good. Now, a lot of folks be telling Man, it you, it sounds good cheese. already. It sounds Why good, it looks good. on the cream cheese to soften when you can get the whipped crip cheese, whipped crip, crip, whipped cream cheese, there you go. And it takes about eight ounces, and this is a 12 whipped. ounce container, so um, I'd say cream we cheese is pretty close with that right there. Cream cheese. To that, okay. we're going to add some rib rub. What is it? Ken Rollins rib rub. Now, folks, this is ain't for okay. ribs. Put it on chicken, you can put it on brisket, put it in your baked beans, put it on your corn on the cob. Oh, baked beans. It's got you Ooh, covered. Right. It is. Okay. So give it a pretty good sprinkling. Oh, and you can <laughs> see the wind God. is blowing Oh, in. my God. And then we're going to add what? Some of that Red River mud, that barbecue sauce. Mm. Got to have it because we're not basting these in barbecue sauce. We wanted it in the filling. This is like a fancy French term called a cannoli, but with made out of meat. Well, we're going to insert. I don't think cannolis are French. Are they, are they not? Italian? They're Italian. It's pretty close. It's one of them cream cheese filled donuts got the hole in it. You push it in there. Is that an eclair? Tell That's me which. An eclair, yeah. Okay, but it is it a cannoli or is that pasta? Tell me, Shan. <laughs> I really don't I think know, we're getting off the so I think we're missing what so we're doing. A little barbecue sauce. <laughs> wow, look how thick that Get is. Get it mixed up. Yeah. Ooh, at this time, that part that got on your thumb, mm, I would call that just right. You can see the breeze is blowing. If that was a wind sock at an airport and you were circling your plane in, which way would you come in to land? Oh. It's a I, mathematical question. You go. You're going to have to land. The breeze? You're going to have to land this way? No, you're going to land this way so you get the lift. Oh. So this is a windsock. I'm learning so much. This, <laughs> this is not only just a windsock, it is a piping bag for this good, gracious looking, mm, oh goodness it is. And it may be hard to get it in here in the wind. Yes. So bear with me, folks. I'm just going to have to do the best I can. Well, the goodness is in the little Yeti chilling. It is. You need to do that about 30 minutes ahead of time to let all them flavors incorporate and mold together. Hey, if y'all hadn't heard, we got some new designs on some new t-shirts. I, I really be like the way they look and they oh so soft to wear. Be sure and check out this design and all the Cowboy other ones that we got. Nice. And I've already been in trouble on this one because yep. yep, stained it already. Shan uh. said I have it stained. I don't remember wearing it, so sometimes I think she wears my stuff and gets them dirty. <laughs> so, folks, get your t-shirt. If you stain it, don't let your wife see it. Everything will work out just fine. So, I ask you to buy some of them. I like to use these. Say that word, Chen. Polska. Kielbasa. <laughs> was that French or Italian? Polish. It was Polish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, you see this part here, which is very important to me, skinless. Oh. That way when you buy it, you know, when you get a hold of some of them Polish sausage and they got that case yeah, in there that people didn't take off, when you buy it, it just sort of pulls and separates. So let's get one of them out of okay. there. And I want you to go ahead, get the other piece of the star out here, which is Oof. the bacon. And folks, we're getting thick cut bacon, not that stuff you can read the newspaper through. <laughs> we gotta leave room for our filling in here to have enough room to where it's actually gonna be some good. 
So really, I'm just gonna tell you what. I need a spectator. Duker, go ahead. I need this to end up being sort of plumb and squared up there. Oh, so the other dog's going, wait, what did he time. get? And I want you to come about three-fourths of the way up there, okay? Just set him right there. And don't uh, think that's okay, all because, hey, we got another trick we're going to show you here in just a second. Big says, I don't think I got one. But don't forget your ruler, your measuring stick. You <laughs> oh, my God, the it. dogs are coming in there. We have got that smoker to go in over there, and you want to preheat your smoker to where you're running about 350. So I want you to come back in there and just cut right in half. And we're going to go ahead and assemble this one so you don't get lost. Let me get these self-adhering piercing objects that are going to hold this together. That's fancy terminology for OK4. It is a wooden toothpick. So let me go ahead and get one of them out here. Start on your bacon on one end, like so, and flush with the corner. So the and whole the piece of bacon roll. for that wrap? Now, a lot of these people will be cutting the bacon to where it just comes out one wrap. Yeah. No, you don't want to short yourself on the bacon. And I can tell you, when it's a little warm, and the bacon's a little greasy. Yep. This is sort of like a slip and slide that's got some WD-40 on it. I mean, <laughs> things are pretty slick, they are. You can see that, that end. Take your toothpick, come to the bottom of that bacon, and go ahead and let's fasten that through the bottom layer. Okay. Now when you look right there, you can see we have a room for a lot of Ooh. goodness. I don't know if you've ever heard this term before. That's, that's slicker than a snotty doorknob right there i'll tell you for oh. sure that's attractive yes it is oh it is so much better if you'll chill that bacon really really good i mean make it good ice cold it'll roll up so much easier next comes this beautiful few fruit here called a jalapeno i like to go ahead and cut this too just to make it flush and don't some give of that to the dog yourself, i hope he takes the stems and the seeds out of it what fun would that be what? <laughs> but remember our piping bag just take your little old knife Cut Did he just give a that little to the bit dog? off that corner, oh. and now we are like what you call the French. We have got her done here, and boy, that is a really that, big hole. That's a that? massive hole. Uh huh. So get you a little squeezed in there. Oh, probably a good size for it, actually. Then take you a little dab of jalapeno. It don't take much. You don't want it too big. Mash him right down in there. Ooh. Load oh, the shot that's where the again. Other this is not end you go comes up to the in. bar and you say, I want a shot, make it a double. So push him right down on in there. You want to try to get him everything mashed in there really well. And what? We'll come right back with just a little bit of this right here. Oh. You don't want to overload it because that stuff will come out of there. Come back to your jalapeno. Okay. Cut him right here. Push him right down there in the top. Folks. We have a pig shot that is worthy of being called a pig shot. Okay. Man, that looks so good with the jalapeno. Oh. Ooh. Only thing about watching this guy cook is it makes you so dang hungry. I tell you what. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ooh. Well, we have got everybody assembled. We have preheated the smoker to about 400 wood. When okay. we shut that lid, it's going to get down there right about 350. But we got a little hardwood lump oak in there. I mixed a little mesquite. Then I'm going to throw two chunks of apple wood in there with it. And if you're doing this on the grill, you want to get your hot fire and put it on one end. You want to be cooking on the indirect side of it. Before the smoke gets me, I'm just going to go ahead, set these little handy dandy pig shots right out here in the middle. They are all loaded, they are. Let me go ahead and shut this. And I want to tell you, you see me load them right there in the middle, you did. The reason for that being, there is a shield, a deflector that goes over this hot fire that's right in the middle, lets that heat come around both sides. So that's why we placed it in the middle. Now, we're gonna go ahead and crack these vents just a little down here on this side, just a little on this one. We're gonna crack the back open probably a little over halfway. Ooh. I want Shan. Woo. I want Shan to get up in here and get some of that goodness that's happening. There's a lot of smoke. See, they're trying to bloom already and come on up there. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little mashing. Stay down in there, brother. We'll go ahead and shut that lid, folks. Mm, mm, mm. Imagine the smell of oh, that, that bacon. Oh. But they're gonna be a cook time of about 40 to 45 minutes. You want that bacon to cook through. Mm. 
So remember, that apple wood, one chunk's done in there. So let's go ahead and get that other one in there. Shut this door. I'm gonna, I'm gonna burn my finger one more time. I know. Got her latched up, we do. I know y'all like our content a lot, but there's some extra stuff that we're thinking about creating for you. A Patreon account to where you can get behind the scenes stuff. Know what's going on. Have access early to some of the stuff that we're putting out. We hear you, we're gonna try to fix you. Y'all know the reason the bee is painting so? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There was twelve. Big took one. Oh! I'm thinking that Big maybe got a bite of the hottest jalapeno there was. Everything is looking really good. No, what about Big the toothpick? Your last chance, buddy. But, ooh, I mean, they is goodness in every bite. See the other end of it? Nobody fell out. Nobody was going everywhere. Now, when we put them on that smoker and close the lid, you see me add two more chunks of apple wood, and then it's just probably 35 to 45 minutes depending on your temperature you're running but try to stay 350 if you can and remember if you're doing it on a grill you're cooking on indirect heat you're on the opposite end of the heat but these little old smokers they woke oh oh so good bartender give me a shot i want a big shot mm. so folks i'm gonna give you that john wayne walk coming in there like you said go up to the bar then you're gonna break down right before you get to <laughs> Oh my gosh, a pig shot is what I want. I'd be looking really good. I'll take me another, and if I get a chance, bartender, make it a double. Whoo wee. God, they look good. Want to make a whole bunch of these, because remember, they go well at tailgate parties, but they go well at any party. If it's just you at the home, fill up the bar with them. Mm, they are so <laughs> fine, they are. Remember, everything that we use will be listed down there in the little link below so you can find it. And as always, and it is with great honor, I tip my hat to all our service men and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying. But also, folks, I'd like to give out a shout out. I ain't done that in a while, and that is to all the good folks in Kentucky. You know, we did one long time back when they went through the tornado. We made one of them Kentucky Derby pies, and it's sure fine dining. But folks, them people have had a flood. They have had a lot going on. So lift them up in your prayer. Keep them in your thoughts, and hey, it's all about helping your neighbor remember that. But also them truck drivers. Folks, when you go to the store and you go to get supplies, reckon where it come from. There was some big rig hauler. He done been working most of the night, most of the day, driving them miles, beating up and down that pavement, paying for diesel that costs way too much to get us groceries, to get us feed, to get us the things that we need. And remember, and we'll all do it, it ain't no step for a stepper. We just keep stepping up a little higher. So for the rest of you, come on in here. I've been getting a lot of stuff. You ain't give us no hug. You missed us last week. Come on, I'll give you a big old hug. God bless you each and every one, and I'll see you down the smoked cream cheese jalapeno pig shot trail. Oh my God. Down in here. Armadillo cat or a possum? Armadillo got in a hole, Lou. Get it. Mate says, I'll go in there and get him. Mate says, I ain't scared. What the? I must say, for something that is, you know, pretty straightforward, pretty simple with all the ingredients there. It looks so good. That little bit of jalapeno. He loves his jalapeno. I love jalapeno. You know, it gives that nice bite to it. The bacon, sausage. Oh, man. Ooh, that, that looked pretty good. We don't have tailgating here in Australia, but that is something I would definitely make. Definitely make. Um, as I said, you know, you can imagine that when he opened that smoker, that smell that hits you in that smoke. Oh, that is good. As I said, the only problem watching Kent is you always feel hungry. No matter the time of the day, if you've just eaten or whatever, you know, it's just like, oh my God, I just want to eat that. I want to try. I wouldn't mind sitting down with him and having a meal, man. He seems like he would be a great guy to to talk to. And that obviously shout out at the end there with the, the service men and women and obviously the truck drivers as well. Uh, that's a nice little touch. That's a nice little touch. He's thinking about the community that watches him. So uh, that is brilliant, brilliant. So, but on the food side, Always makes me hungry. Um, I'm, I'm starting to get a list. I'm starting to get a list of things I need to start cooking. So 
uh, need to try. So this is going to be moving up the list, I tell you what. I mean, what it's got bacon, great. Sausages, great. Jalapenos, fantastic. Uh, you can't go wrong with that. So, so let me know what you thought of that one, guys. Thank you very much for joining me today. And again, Christy, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. Again, if you want to sponsor your own video, all that information is down there with the links, etc., in the description, guys. In the meantime, make sure you stay safe. And I'll definitely see you in the next reaction video. Did you enjoy that video? Why not watch another one?